Now, let's start off with a standard. We're being told dramatic twist for twins in DNA saga. Now, it turns out that they're actually sisters, and now they have decided that they're going to be one big happy family. Of course, I did expect this, and Honorable Manzo, you said that this is expected from people from the West, and we love peace and harmony, and clearly this has prevailed. What do you feel about this story that has seemingly come to a happy end? Yes, I think it's a great story and uh, there are very many other stories of this sort mm. which have not been revealed. Uh, considering the age of these girls, it means uh, this sort of activity has been going on for a long time and probably uh, probably there are many families bringing up children who are not theirs uh, due to a mistake uh, at a hospital. Uh, but most important, uh, these girls are in a form mm. and I believe now they should be given a break. Yeah, so they may have a bright future mm -hmm. because now they're going to have to go back to form three so that they can catch up because this kind of destruction would not allow them to prepare for their national exams. So, but still, from the picture you see on the front page, they seem happy, content. They're all wearing one uh, the similar outfit, saying that they're now triplets and not uh, twins. Honorable <laughs> Baraz, what do you feel about this uh, story? The only thing that I can say is that mm. uh, the Ministry of Health, yeah should be able to force hospitals to develop some kind of a standard operating procedures that mm. will avoid scenario where babies are swapped yeah. or where you lose your baby yeah. how do you explain <laughs> exactly. uh, and i think even this matter should be properly investigated yes. uh, in terms of uh, uh, what happened at uh, at birth mm. and also uh, we should get uh, you know we should get this family mm. out of limelight so that they can concentrate on their yeah. On, on the, uh, bringing the, the children up together, I mm -hmm. think we've uh, we've had enough of them, mm -hmm. and uh, a way must be found to to be able to support these uh, twins. Yeah, uh, an expert should be come, should come in, mm -hmm. you know, because these are families that uh, are definitely going to live together. Yes, uh, when the DNA are showing that. Uh, you know, the, the, the father that is living with the mother is not the one who fathered, uh, who fathered them. Mm -hmm. So an expert should come in. Maybe counseling. and Counseling. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after we have uh, given them uh, all this limelight, mm -hmm. I think we should go back five years or three years see how from today to see how they will be coping right. uh, going forward. Yeah, and I'm thinking we live in such a litigious family, so it's such so strange that they're not pursuing any legal redress to their strife after the hospital obviously was not uh, very responsible in handling the twins. What do you think about that angle of this? Yeah, I think the fact that they are not uh, mm. really pursuing any legal redress mm. doesn't stop the government from investigating. Yes. Investigating for the purposes of not only uh, not just prosecuting, yeah. but coming up with a root cause analysis to mm -hmm. be able to avoid yes, uh, such. such cases from occurring uh, either today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, or in the future. You know, the reason why uh, I always want to tell this country that uh, the reason why investigations are done is not just for the purposes of uh, prosecution, yeah. but it's for the purposes of identifying the flaws in the mm -hmm. procedure, mm -hmm. uh, finding out what happened, mm -hmm. and how we can, uh, because I'm sure very many families are suffering even Absolutely. today yesterday mm -hmm. last week last month mm -hmm. you are you deliver you are very good you know very healthy baby mm -hmm. then you are told your baby died at birth yeah but they have just swapped mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. you end up raising uh, you know being a, a mother mm -hmm. or a family with no child not yeah. because you are unable to father one mm -hmm but because yours is being raised elsewhere. Somewhere, somewhere so it's else. it's completely mm -hmm. not acceptable. Yeah. And the government must do something uh, to cap this illicit uh, business that goes on in our, in our, in our hospitals. Right. And I, I did say earlier, when you see such stories, it's probably the tip of the iceberg. And it shows, uh, it is a picture, paints us a picture of perhaps a deeper rot that perhaps the media should look into. Because if this has made it uh, to the headlines because of social, social media and smart girls who are able to investigate for themselves and try and find out what the problem is, probably there's more that is happening that is not, that is untoward in our hospital that needs to be rectified. Now, um, uh, Honorable Manzo, any other the family would be racing to the courts. What do you feel about them choosing to stay out of the courts for this issue? Well, it's, it's a choice uh, as families they can make. Yeah. And uh, I believe uh, there's, a, there's a, a legal right which has been breached. Uh, first of all, you know, you would imagine a child who is swapped and then grows up in problems and mm -hmm. never becomes what they would have been. Or when you grow up with parents who are not your real parents, mm -hmm. Uh, it's really a pain when you discover. So I think uh, there must be legal redress, and I, be, I want really to challenge FIDA.
mm. to take up this matter and we we go through the course and see uh, what can be done to compensate these children and someone must be punished for, for this. There yeah. must be investigation to know exactly who did it, was it intentional uh, and if so, uh, what legal redress is available. Yeah. And I believe someone should be charged in court because there are quite a number of these cases uh, whereby you, you give birth, you deliver and you are told your child died, mm -hmm. yet your, your child has been exchanged. Uh -huh. uh, with another and then you end up going home thinking you have no child yet your child is growing up somewhere in the somewhere world else, yeah. pretty unfortunate and yeah you mentioned Fida whatever happened to that body but, but, but you <laughs> see the, the only danger is that uh, yeah. uh, I'm sure in the next few weeks or months mm -hmm. you will see the legitimate father coming forth to claim ah, the girls the girls <laughs> <laughs> that is that will provide yeah. I'm sure the headline will say father twist yeah yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, saga. yeah no i mean i mean how else will we sell our papers we have to report this if you even if you say we have to stay away from them a good story needs to be told and i trust me like you said it would come out